Well, good morning, ladies and gentlemen. I have been on an adventure for the last 19 days, as you guys know, doing the carnivore diet, uh, because that's just the type of diet I think I needed to do at the time. And uh, today is it. Today I hit Wonderland, not spelt with a W, but O-N-E, Derland. And uh, I'm not sure who made that up. Somebody made it up somewhere along the lines. And uh, so I stood on the scale this morning on day 19. And I was uh, 100. <laughs> See, I, I wanted to say 200. 199.2 pounds. Oh, my gosh. I, I, I was pretty emotional this morning about it because I have not seen that number in over probably 25 years. And, uh, yeah, it'd be interesting to know the last time, you know what? It might even be 30 years. Mm, no, I was, I think I was still, Carol and I got married in 94 and I was 180 pounds and it probably took about three years to get up to about 212. Cause I remember being 212 for a really long time. And, you know, if I did lose weight, I'd get down to like 204 or 202 or, whatever. And then the highest I ever got was in February of 2020. Uh, the day after the Super Bowl, I weighed myself and I was 236 pounds. So as of today, I've lost 36.8 pounds since 2020 February. So but since like I was not really dieting, I was just doing the uh, intermittent fasting and um, What's it called? One day, one uh, one meal a day, OMAD. So I was doing uh, OMAD. Uh, I still do OMAD. It's like I, I could care less about breakfast. I could care less about lunch. Uh, sometimes uh, if I am actually getting hungry, I'll have, you know, three eggs, three bacon at like two o'clock in the afternoon. Um, and then I'll have a bigger meal again. Right now, it's all about meat, but... Uh, before I started the carnivore diet, I would have, you know, a huge salad. So it'd be like spring mix, tons of nuts, seeds, um, craisins, uh, what I put turmeric on there. I think it's turmeric. And, uh, what else did I put on there? Like, uh, nutritional yeast, uh, flax seed, ground up flax seed on it. So I had all the fiber and all that stuff and I put sliced up. Uh, like two sliced up eggs all over the top uh, and then I put like maybe five to six olives on the side and then five to six anchovies on the side and I eat this huge salad and uh, it was good and I can't wait to get back into doing that uh, in the near future because uh, you know you need to you need to have your veggies and I totally agree but I needed to do what I'm doing right now I'm definitely at a, a calorie deficit every single day even though um, I stopped measuring out stuff, I just want to eat until I'm hung until I'm not hungry anymore. And if I'm hungry, I'll grab a couple of slices of bacon, and that totally kind of curbs the appetite. And uh, so I'm I'm just every once in a while I get distracted because a beautiful red cardinal comes to our feeder. So and we have to change our cylinder, which I, I might videotape later. Um. Yeah, I am extremely happy. I'm, I'm hoping that you guys, um, or sorry, I guess I should say I wish you guys all the best if you are on a weight loss journey yourself. Again, do as much research as you can. Uh, I've, done, I've been doing research since 2020. Carol and I have been watching so many uh, videos on health and 
fasting and just intermittent fasting and long-term fasting or water fasting, uh, carnivore diet, uh, Mediterranean diet. We've been watching every bit of information. It's funny how some people will debunk things and other people promote it. And it's just like, you, you just got to do what you think is best for yourself. And I think for myself and it's working, uh, we're down 36 pounds in the last four years. So, uh, I'm very happy for that. Uh, in the future, I, I'm probably going to drop to just a regular diet and maybe once or t maybe once a week, I'll go out and do a splurge video or a cheat day video. Um, apparently if you're doing carnivore, you cannot waver off of it. And, uh, I got something right there, uh, because you'll, you'll mess yourself up for about three days. It'll take three days to get back to where you're supposed to be. Uh, I'm not sure if it's keto ketosis or, or whatever, when you're doing uh, carnivore and you're not eating any carbs, your insulin's really low. Um, and, and you just, and you're, you're training your body to start to eat the fat that's on your body and saying, you know what, this is food that's stuck all around your organs and, and in your flabby areas. Uh, that's all food. It's just stored food and your body will not use that stored food. If you keep eating carbs and sugar, because they're like, Oh, that's easy fuel. Let's just use that. And then your insulin spikes. And if you eat your sugar and your carbs and fat, then your body's like, Oh, here's our sugar and carbs. We're going to use that. Oh, the fat's right here. Uh, let's store that. And so your insulin will store that fat. So that's some of the stuff I've been learning. Uh, what was another thing I learned uh, just recently? So when you start the carnivore diet, you want to kind of have like a little tiny bit of carbs, protein, and then a lot of fat. Um, and then once you kind of get yourself into the fat burning mode, then you back off on how much fat you eat. Um, you still have more fat than protein, but you're supposed to be like cut it a little bit more, more, well, I don't know, like one third or more. Uh, that's some of the research I've been doing anyway. Uh, another thing too, you've probably, you've probably seen this shirt maybe once in a vlog. Uh, I couldn't wear it back in the day. It was way too small, way too tight, and it's still tiny bit snug. Chances are if I lose another 10 pounds, then it will fit a little bit more loose. But I bought this shirt five years ago in Japan and uh, I liked it a lot because it has all the different sushis and sashimi on it. And uh, this is the first time I think I've worn it uh, since I bought it. I think I bought it, tried it on. I'm like, whoa, it's way too tight. I think I just liked the design. I didn't, I didn't check. Like it doesn't have, I guess I could have held it up to myself or compared it to another shirt or whatever, but it, I guess maybe visually I just said, Oh, grab that shirt. Um, and I didn't notice the size cause on these it's all in Japanese. There's no numbers. It's just all Japanese. So I can, couldn't tell if it's large or, uh, yeah, see, it would probably be, um, like their symbol for large and, uh, or medium chances are this is a medium. And, uh, but I thought, Today's the day, you know, we hit Wonderland, put on some clothes that you haven't in five years. And, uh, I think all the other shirts I bought in Japan, they're all dead. They, I probably worn them out. I don't, I don't recall. Maybe, you know what? I think there's, there's a, um, Kyoto shirt in my drawer. Maybe there's another one, but, uh, I think I wore a couple of them to death. I wore that Japanese hat. The samurai hat to death. I love that hat. It was such a good hat. Oh my gosh. I am just ecstatic to bring you the news of me losing that much weight. And uh, look for it. My, my cousin Andrew, who I do my cycling with out west, uh, he's like, oh, you're getting close to me. I'm 193. And I'm like, hey, 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 another goal. But uh, again, when I did that body scan or in check, in body, body scan, uh, the printout or whatever told me I, at that time, I can't remember how much I was at that moment, maybe 206. Uh, it said I needed to lose 37 pounds. So I think it really wants me to be 168 pounds. I can't see me being 168 pounds. I'd like, to, I would just like to be, it'd be kind of fun to, to get to 175. 
Um, cause I think when I was, even when I was 180, I still had that little tiny pudge along the, around the belly button area. And, uh, I did have a six pack. Like I said, when I was cutting the lawn one time, Carol took a picture of me cutting the lawn with my shirt off and, uh, yep, yeah, I had a six pack back in the day and I haven't seen my stomach muscles in 30 plus years. It's crazy. But maybe soon, maybe soon one day, um, Ben joined a gym and uh, through his job, he gets like, he can, he can sign on more people. And so he offered to me, he goes, I can give you 30% off through my, my membership or whatever. And uh, so I might start pumping some iron. Uh, my coach told me, she said, your upper body muscle is fine. Uh, definitely you can improve it. But it's fine, but she wants me to work on my legs. My legs uh, were a little bit lower in muscle, uh, not because of the diet, just um, I guess I haven't been using my legs really that much since like the hike. We used my legs a lot, both hikes that we did this fall. Uh, and I, I didn't do as much cycling as I really wanted to do this year um, or last year. But I'm going to try really hard to do more cycling this year try to do lifting weights and uh, getting into a little bit more muscle shape. Anyway, guys, I'm extremely happy that you you have joined me on this journey of mine. Uh, more to come. Uh, when this month is ended, uh, I will not be running out and buying cases of beer and eating fast food and all that stuff constantly. I will probably be doing cheat days. I'm definitely going to slowly integrate salads and stuff back into my diet in February, but I might actually go uh, a few days more into February with this diet because I'm fine. Uh, I just sent a quick e uh, text to a bunch of my, my best friends. And one of my best friends is uh, Jim. You guys know Jim goes on all the football trips with me. And uh, I think he's trying to lose weight too. And so he was interested in how I was so successful uh, losing the 14.8 pounds in 19 days. So, so, uh, I gave him some of the information that I had and, and, uh, we'll see anyway. So I'm hoping I'm inspiring you to lose weight. You don't necessarily have to do what I'm doing. Uh, and if you do decide to do what I'm doing, please do all your research, talk to your doctor. Uh, I talked to my doctor. He's doing the best he can to help me through this journey. Uh, I think, I think he'll be uh, happy with the results after I've lost the weight and start exercising more and then slowly get back into eating a normal diet. Um, and same with my, my coach and my nutritionist. But I really appreciate every single one of you guys for watching all these videos. My views are going la 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 la. Uh, my subscribers are going up. My views are going up. My revenue is going back up. And uh, I thought this was going to be a disaster month because I needed to do this. Unfortunately, I have to make content for YouTube and people do not like seeing me do carnivore diet. But a lot of you guys don't mind it. So I'm hats off to you guys. You guys are amazing. And I really appreciate every single one of you guys. So have a great day. I wish you all the best. And we'll see you in the next video. Bye.